Hello and welcome to the Sports Financials post-game coverage of the Payroll Bowl. I'm Mike. And I'm Jay. Tonight, we saw two Titans duke it out, get payroll and the IRS. That's right, Jay. Let's take a look at the post-game stats. Now here's something interesting, Mike. The IRS was the projected winner for this game, but Get Payroll managed to come out on top. It's not even an underdog story, Jay. 100% tax court victories against the IRS, a higher customer rating from Google and Yelp. I mean, look at that. 1.3 out of five, abysmal for the IRS. This is just par for the course. These analysts should be fired from their jobs, evicted from their homes, and have their car impounded yesterday. Harsh words have never rung more true. We go live now to Get Payroll's coach, Charles Reed, for some post-game comments. I first want to give my kudos to our competitor. <laughs> they fought the good fight. However, they made too many mistakes like they normally do. Plus, they got a bunch of rookies on the field, and many of their experienced players have retired. So I was never too concerned about the outcome. We've got a fantastic team, fantastic plays. All we had to do was not fumble. And we never fumble. Commissioner Chuck Reddick of the IRS unfortunately couldn't stay for comments. He had to go off to Washington for the 12th time this month to explain to our elected officials what exactly taxes are. He did, however, leave us a pre-recorded message. Take a listen. Hello. Thanks, Chuck. Coming up next, rumors are circulating that Team Gusto, formerly Zen Payroll, could be getting another name change. My money's on Hutzpah Payroll. Yeah, well, Spunky Paycheck seems to be the viewer's choice. Once again, congratulations to Get Payroll, this year's winner of the Payroll Bowl. We have more coming up after this. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to be on the lookout for more videos from our channel. Hope you have a good one.